What's up, explorers? In this video, we're going up to the Acropolis of Athens. Something important to remember uh, for when you make your trip here, they have a ticket. So the Acropolis and its slopes, the ticket itself is 20 euros. If you pay 30 euros, you also get access to all the rest of the stuff that you've seen in the past uh, Ancient Athens video series. And that ticket is good for five days and it's, I think it's totally good for it. There's seven, seven locations you get to go visit in, in five days. And, you get to just spend your time and, and really enjoy yourself while you're doing it. And on top of that, use the Metro. You can, for $8, you can get a five day pass on the Metro, which is also, you know, we in the States would know it as the subway, but it also works for the buses and the tram. And it's just a, it's just a great deal. So yeah. When you come to Athens, check all that stuff out. You're gonna save yourself a lot of time and money. So I'm heading through a gate now. And we are now through a gate. And we're heading upwards. First thing we see, cool little cave. Boy, is it slippery up here. This marble is insane slippery. So I feel that coming in that way, you kind of get ripped off to to the real view of when you walk in this place. So we're gonna we're gonna go in from another spot. But it's cool. Just wait. So we are here at the west gate of the Acropolis, and uh, let's. Head on up here. The texture of this flooring is absolutely interesting.
second most famous building in the world, the Parthenon. Colossal bronze statue of Athena. So the Parthenon was a temple built in 480 BC. It was dedicated to Athena. It was decorated all across the top, all the way around, and it was probably the most beautiful building that has ever been built in the world, still to this day. A lot of the, the sceneries that were carved into the top were, were scenes from the Battle of Troy, and inside it housed a giant golden ivory statue of the goddess Athena would have been cool to see. This is the site of the Echerion, which is a sanctuary to Athena and Poseidon. And this olive tree we're looking at, legend has it that Athena and Poseidon got in a fight and Poseidon dealt a blow that caused Athena to shed a tear. Athena's tear dropped right there and an olive tree grew. It was the only tree that could grow up on the top of the Acropolis. It was there for a couple thousand years and then the Ottomans came and knocked it down and somebody replanted it. This is a sacred olive tree. statue, the old temple of Athena, which was built prior to the Parthenon, was built in 525 to 500 BC, so 20 years later they built the Parthenon. So this right here in the shadow of the Parthenon is a temple to Augustus. This place would be so much cooler today if it wasn't for one asshole of an English Earl. I can't remember his name, but he's the one that came and looted the hell out of the Acropolis. I don't even know how he did it. <laughs> but he didn't get it all. Luck, lucky for that. It's also a good thing that the, that the pyramids were way too heavy for, for the English to take. <laughs> when you're up here, 
you see these views, you can see where the ancient people truly looked at this piece of land up on top of this mountain as a holy land. Absolutely unbelievable. And of course, then you can look down and you see the theater of Dionysus. Just absolutely just beautiful. But you got the original Olympic Stadium, you got Hadrian's Arch, you got you got the Temple of Odin Zeus. Almost everything you see on this side, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. We've got the Acropolis Museum. The thing that happened that contributed to the destruction of this building was uh, there was a war between, I believe, the Byzantines and the Turks, or the Ottomans, or whatever, and. Uh, the Ottomans were using it to store gunpowder and somebody shot a cannonball into it and the gunpowder exploded and it really did a lot of damage. Really unfortunate. This has been a tour of the Acropolis. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please put a like on the, the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're still just getting started into this trip through Europe. You don't want to miss the fun. So, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. this video out here. We're going to go to the most recent series that we have playing right now on Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle, you need a bag of bills. And as always, eat great food.